Hello, the Mike Show. We are back. Not the Mike Show, the Ask Mike Show. Here we are talking all about the media. I know, a bit of a touchy subject, but someone asked me, does the media do more harm than good? Now, I think, you know, without getting too political with it, the media has their own agenda for the most part. They want to they have things they agree with. They have things they disagree with. Some things will more likely get the exposure and get the coverage than others. That is the the way it tends to work. That is how the world works. That's how the media works. That's how social media works. You know, we have friends that we agree with. We have friends that we disagree with. We have viewpoints that we disagree with, viewpoints that we do agree with. And... I think that, you know, the media is still run by people. They still have preferences. They still have things that they would prefer be in the media. Now, I think it's different when the viewpoints affect millions of people. You can't have your personal opinions hold the bias on something that reaches millions of people. I think that is a... I think that's a very dangerous road. It's a very dangerous thing to do. It's not something I would suggest that we did. Because if it's the media, if it's news, it should be as objective as possible. It should be all of the facts, all of the opinions, all of the viewpoints. And we should be allowed to make up our own mind. The problem is, is that we're not being allowed to make up our own mind. And it's being made even harder than ever to actually find out the actual stories behind things that happen. So it's not something that we can just go out and find because every news outlet has their own agenda. Every news outlet has their own version of the truth. And it's a very difficult situation to be in when it's difficult for your average person to go out there and find the information to come up with your own best opinion and best viewpoint on a particular topic. It's very difficult these days. It's not something everybody can do. Um, Does that mean it's more harm than good? I think it depends. Depends on the subject, depends on the topic, depends on how harmful the topic is. If you want to discuss something like gun control, that is different to, I don't know, should we have extra fruit and vegetables in our school dinners? It's a very different subject. It's a very different matter altogether. And I think, I think unfortunately, they're both given the same, they're both given the same level of impact because they, they blow up the potential for fruit and veg. So you get experts in, you get Tom from down the road in to talk about it. You get all kinds to blow up it, to give it the most amount of value possible, but it's what's being put out there. And that, that's the issue. It's not just about that, but then you've got, you know, the whole gun control thing is a touchy subject for everybody. And, People don't have to try very hard to give that the exposure that it warrants, where the the sort of fruit and veg in school meals, people put more effort into that and they make it this whole big thing because that's what we respond to. So in some ways, we are in control of it, but at the same time, the media knows what we respond to. The media knows what we don't like. They know what we do like. They know how to present information in a way that makes us either happy, angry, sad, frustrated, whatever it is. So the media are able to control how we behave. At the same time, how we behave can control the media because if no one likes a topic if no one clicks on it if no one wants to hear about it they won't show it again or they won't put as much effort into it to show it because we don't want it 
But then if they put enough into it, enough behind it, make it as controversial as possible and get people as wound up as possible, it then becomes something much bigger than what it probably actually is. So does it do more harm than good? I think it's, it's exaggerated. I think it's polarizing people because it's very intense. They, they get us emotional and that's what it's there to do. Now, is there a negative to it? Of course there is. Um, unfortunately, it's exposing the best and worst of society, best and worst of the world. Um, and I think it is gradually getting down the road of dangerous. Didn't used to, but now more than ever, it's going down the road of dangerous because it knows the power that it has. It understands the level of power that it can have over millions of people. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, people will use it for good things. People will use it for bad things. And I think, unfortunately, it's slowly going down that road. It's slowly going down the more harm than good road, unfortunately. So short answer, we are gradually getting that way. Do I think we're there now? I think the good people, the good versions um, are fighting back. They are doing the job. They are trying to fight it. They're trying to advise people, reduce the consumption of the negativity all the time. Um, I think we're going to get to a point where we're not going to be able to fight it. We're not going to be able to stop it. And yeah, I think it will start to do a lot more harm than good. But I think we can control it to a certain degree now. Um, I think steadily getting to a point where we're not going to be able to control it. We're not going to be given the freedom to control it in the same way. Or we will be told that we will but we actually won't. And that's part of it, is to being told one thing, but the reality is actually another. And that's where things are gradually starting to, starting to go down this dangerous road, this more harm than good road. I think it's gradually getting that way. And unfortunately, people in power will, will benefit from it. So they won't want to stop it. So we, as, as a collective, have to do our utmost to regulate it in our own ears, through our own senses. We have to regulate it ourselves, otherwise it will be too late. And we'd have already been mass manipulated somewhat down a particular road. Um, there'll be no going back. If some people, there already is no going back. You know, they're being told what to think, told what to believe. And it's causing a lot of people to not really listen to themselves anymore and their ideas aren't their own their thoughts aren't their own and we'll end up worse off because of it so i think it's a slippery slope i think the positivity is out there if we look for it it's whether or not people want to look for it or not that's the that's the issue some people don't really want to find it some people would much rather be given negativity than have to look for positivity unfortunately um you know, me personally, I'm more than happy to not watch the news, listen to anything that's negative. I do my best. Um, but I know not everybody is made that way. You know, some people would rather be given thoughts and feelings and reactions and actions because it makes their lives easier. But unfortunately, the media feed into that as well. So we just have to be a bit more individually responsible and take advantage of the fact that we can control it to a certain extent all right i hope that helps again feel free to share the episode tell people about the show ask me any questions that you might have and i'm more than happy to give you my best answers spread the word get people involved reach out to me on social media with your questions and also it would mean the world to me if you left a review wherever you are checking out the show. Whether it's five stars or otherwise, I want to hear it. Because I love getting feedback. It's a way of improving the show, a way of enhancing this, what I have now. And I would love it to hear your feedback in the reviews. So have an amazing time. Enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon.